Dreallday.com. What's up, everybody? Dre Ball and Dreallday.com. Today's Friday, June. What was it? June 6th, June 7th? I don't know. June 6th. Game one in the NBA Finals was last night. We all know what happened. The Heat were up by seven. LeBron James caught cramps. Couldn't play anymore. The Heat got ran out the gym at the end of the game. Spurs won game one. First of all, let me be clear. I'm not, this is not about making excuses for LeBron James. The Heat lost the game. The series is 1-0 San Antonio. Those facts are not changing. What I'm making this video for is to explain to y'all what it feels like to get leg cramps and for people to understand that it's not so simple as you can just walk back out on the court when you have leg cramps. Because I'm a basketball player. I've, I'm a basketball player who has, at times in my days as a player, relied on my athleticism. That means running fast, jumping high, using my physical abilities to overwhelm opponents. And LeBron James is that type of player. His physical ability is, is one major thing that separates him from everybody else on the floor. Of course, he has other skills, but his physical gifts his physical makeup is a really big factor in him being so damn good. We agree to that, right? Now, people saying, okay, he got cramps, so why don't you just keep playing? First of all, just in case anybody didn't know, I'm sure most people do, but the cramps that females get and the cramps that males get are not exactly the same. So I think everybody understands that. If you don't, look it up. When you get cramps in your legs, if you ask someone who's an athlete who's really athletic, who plays basketball, someone who can dunk relatively easy, Ask them if they ever got cramps in their legs and what happens at that point when they get the cramps. When you get cramps in your legs, this has happened to me. There's been days in college when I used to play pickup. We play hours of pickup. By that last couple of games, I start to feel the cramps come on. You can't sprint anymore because as soon as you make that firing muscle movement, your, mu your muscles start to cramp up. They get tight. You get a Charlie horse in your hamstrings. It means every time you flex that hamstring, it tightens up and it hurts. Charlie horses are not, they don't tickle, they hurt. And then your, the front of your leg, the quad muscle gets tight. So if you stress the leg out straight, the quad muscle cramps up. And if you bend the leg, the hamstring muscle cramps up. So you can't move either direction. That's the thing. That's what happened to LeBron James. He couldn't move his leg straight and he couldn't bend the leg because either way, you're going to be pulling one of those muscles. You're going to be flexing one of those muscles and they start to cramp up. Now, whether it was because of dehydration, how much he sweat or whatever, we can see that LeBron James has an Achilles heel. All the physical gifts this guy has, he's the type of guy who gets cramps. Not everybody gets cramps. So people saying, oh, well, everybody had the same conditions. Why did he get cramps? Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with him getting cramps. I'm not saying that there's an excuse that he got cramps. They lost the game, as I said at the beginning. But not everyone's body responds to the same stimuli the same way. For example, me personally, I've never in my life had a migraine headache. There's some of you watching this video right now who are half my age. You get migraines like once a month all the time. I've never had a migraine. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It just means something that happens to your body. I get cramps. There are days where I'll go to the gym, work out on the basketball court, work out off the court, maybe do some running on the treadmill, some sprints or something, and then I play in a game later that night. By the end of that game or driving home, I start to get cramps. I get cramps in my feet. My feet tighten up. Every time I flex my foot, I feel that tightness and I can't really move that well. I get cramps in my abdominal muscles, which means when I bend over to tie my shoes and the abs flex, they get tight, that I exert that muscle, I feel that cramp, those cramps coming on in my abs. I get cramps in my shoulders. I feel the muscle spasms in my biceps, my triceps, and my shoulders. I get Charlie horses in my hamstring. I feel it in my quads. And you can't, another thing, you cannot replace fluid just as quickly as you lose it. So, if you go run three miles right now, right, and you sweat out 32 ounces of fluid, and then you stop at the store and grab a Gatorade, a 32 ounce Gatorade for 99 cents, and you drink it, you're not going to feel, as soon as you finish that Gatorade, exactly as you felt at the beginning of the run, are you? You don't, and all of you know that. You know why? Even if you was to drink three big Gatorades after you played two hours of hoops, do you feel exactly the same after you drink those Gatorades? No, you still feel tired, even though you replaced all the fluid. You know why? Because your body cannot absorb fluid at the same rate that it loses fluid. You lose fluid at a much quicker pace than your body can absorb it. When you drink a whole bunch of water, how do you feel as soon as you finish drinking the water? You feel kind of tired. You want to sit down and relax for a minute. Why? Because all that fluid is sitting in your stomach. It doesn't just go to your body and replenish your muscles just like that, just as quickly as you lost it. So it's not a simple thing as a lot of people saying on Twitter, 
oh, he could just grab a Gatorade. He needs to toughen up. No, that's fucking ridiculous. It's not that simple. And if you've never gotten muscle cramps while playing basketball, being an athletic type of player, Tim Duncan's not an athletic, explosive player. Ray Allen's a dude. He runs around a lot. He's probably the only guy on that court who is burning maybe as much or more calories than LeBron James out there on the court. Maybe theoretically, I'm just saying. So don't argue with me on that point. But Ray Allen is not covering the court from baseline to baseline on offense and defense, creating the offense, scoring in the post, pushing and pulling against other people's bodies, moving diagonally, laterally, forward, backward, and vertically all through the game. LeBron James does that. Ray Allen is not being asked to do that. And again, for the fifth time, this is not an excuse video for LeBron James. This is just to explain to people what it feels like to get muscle cramps as I have lived through that and I know what it feels like. When you get cramps in your legs playing basketball, you are done for the day. When LeBron James got cramps in his muscles in the 2012 finals, he had to keep coming in and out of the game. The only thing productive he did from the point he got the cramps to the end of that game was make a three-pointer, a face-up three, when the guy who was guarding him kind of played off of him, not realizing that he probably couldn't explode either direction because of the cramps. He would have tried to explode to the basket. He would have pulled up lame and turned the ball over because there's no way those muscles would have fired. That guy who was guarding him probably didn't think about that, of course. He's guarding him because this is LeBron James. He gives him space. LeBron hit a three. He became a hero. The Heat won the game, so the story got buried. If they had lost, people would have trashed him back then. They lost tonight, so now people are trashing him. So now that I've put that, I've put that out there. Anybody got any questions, comments, of course, leave those down there. If you want to be part of the conversation, I will be tweeting throughout all the NBA Finals games. My Twitter is Dre all day, and I do respond to stuff that you say to me. As long as you don't get completely out of line, ridiculous, I will respond to you. Even if you say something crazy, just don't be disrespectful. And that's it. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. George, from New York, work on your game.